Hi guys, how you doing? This is Dan for ecopilot.net. I'm doing a tutorial today for Mavis who wanted to know about the icons here and the menus on the left hand side of the screen. So we'll get straight into that. First off, you've got your character sheet, and this is basically everything you need to know about your character. Whole wealth of information here, skill points, clone grade, um, certificates which are used to sort of hit basic standards. So if we quickly pull up the Osprey here, we have a look at recommended. You can see these are the certifications that Eve recommends you have before you fly this ship. Um, decorations are given to you by the leaders of your corporations. Um, attributes, um, your statistics, where your points go and where you put them after your rematch, I believe was covered earlier on. Um, augmentations of the implants that you have in your head, you can buy them off the market and put them in. Jump clones again, something we'll go into a little bit later on. Your biography, you can put whatever you put in here, other players will see when they look at your show information. So I'm just a video log. And now that will be saved and then they'll see that when they look at show information. Employment history is the corporations that you've been in since your character was born. Standings, if you refer to the mission tutorial that I did before. Um, security status is who likes you and so what space you can go into. The higher security, the better, really, unless you're a pirate. Kill rights are people that you're able to kill. Um, again, we'll go into that in a bit more detail. Combat is the ships that you've killed, the ships that you've lost, and so on and so forth. So, people and places, you can basically use this to find a whole host of information from alliances to characters, to solar systems. So if we can jump to solar system and look for Mar, there it goes. We can show info, we can bookmark it, or we can set it to a destination. We can travel there on autopilot, etc. Uh, mail, pretty self explanatory. Um, yeah, it's the mail you receive, it flashes when you get a new one. Fitting is for your ship. Um, you can use it to add and remove the modules to your ship. We will do a fitting tutorial for you soon um, that will just cover the basics of fitting for each uh, race of ships. Science and industry, well the market first of all again is something we intend to do a tutorial for but in short it's for buying and selling your stuff. If you, if you want to buy something in specific, um, you want to buy a new ship, you want to buy frigates and you know, Caldari, there you go, I can buy a Kestrel for a ridiculously large price here in computer. He's in Thor, he's in uh, Razor Alliance. There's a buddy of mine, team speaker. Um, right, science and industry <coughs> is used for um, creation. Um, as you can see, the blueprints that you have um, belong to your corporations. You also have the new planets tab for planet interaction. Should be the next tutorial. I'll try and get that out later on in the week. When you start getting into research and development, you start using this tab an awful lot more. Um, yeah, the map, very, very useful tool later on in life. You can see here I set that destination to Amar earlier, and this is the, uh, the route of how I'm going to get to it. So I'm in computing at the moment. My next jump will be over in this year. Obviously, if you minimize this out of the way, you can see the map, the list there of how you're going to travel. Um, you can look at stops on the way and add waypoints and so on and so forth. Really very useful. Um, yeah, you'll definitely come to rely on that. Corporation tab, just like your character sheet, everything you need to know about your corporation. The recruiting, the members that are in there, um, wars that are up at the moment, your, your status with other corporations, everything you need to know about your corp there. Assets is basically everything that your character owns. So you can see in computing, I've got my little impairment that's here. But in Danyana, I also have two civilian getting pulse stations. So you'll start to get junk all over the place as, as you sort of progress through the game and it just makes it easy to keep track of it and find the stuff you need. Wallet, really very simple. You get your personal wallet, you load up everything you've brought and sold. Show me it's nothing. Um, shares are corporation based. Uh, orders are things that you're selling on the market at the moment, transactions. This is basically a more detailed view, but I have never brought anything or sold anything. 
corporation wallets control from here as well, and you got the settings sort of when you want to get updated, when you want it to blink. Um, your fleet, uh, again, you'll, you'll get to this when you get in a corporation. We'll, we'll do an entire video on, on fleet maneuvers, but just you, you can join the fleet, see if you get any available fleets. But if you're not in a corporation, you probably won't. Your FCs, your fleet commanders will put that in. Uh, once you're in the court, you'll be able to join them. The browser, very simple. It's just like Internet Explorer, has a few limitations. But as a whole, it works pretty well. It's had a big overhaul quite recently. So, yeah, in game browsing, very handy when you're camping gates or waiting for war targets and stuff. Journal, used mainly for missions. Uh, the missions that you have available to you at the moment, sorry, not available to you, missions that you've accepted at the moment, as well as the loyalty points you've achieved from doing the missions, the contracts that you have out. Again, more planetary stuff. It's just sort of a log file, basically, of the stuff you've been doing. Jukebox, just a music, just a music player. Uh, don't really use it, but I think you can load your own music and stuff into it. Accessories, calculators, logs, notepads. When you're out in space and you're fighting, logs show pretty much everything you see that comes up on your screen. Uh, militia office, not really. Basically, you can sign up to fight for for your uh, race. Amar, Kaldari, Mimitar, and, and you can go and I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of, of the militia and the, that side of the game, don't really play it, but some people love it. Um, I'll, I'll probably get a friend of mine to come in and do a tutorial with me on that. Help menu, put yourself, explanatory, press it for help. Ships and items, just the stuff specific to the station, when you undock they disappear. And obviously shows you the ships you have available to you and the items that you have in the station and then of course you've got the undock button. So that's a really quick, quite quite push for time, so it's quite brief on most of them. But um, yeah, there you go, that's, that's a quick rundown of what everything on the left hand side does. So I hope you enjoyed it. Newcopilot.net, sign up on the forums, have your say about what tutorials I'll do next. And if not, I'll see you next time. Cheers guys.